My name is Paul Sheldon. I've been with the organization for over 20 years. Uh, my current role is I'm responsible for the information management software portfolio. Uh, I think organizationally, if you just kind of look at the, the past state and uh, maybe the current state and future state past, a lot of information was stored in historians or clipboards or really just in the experience of a lot of people that run their processes. So, you know, how do you take that information that oftentimes is in these different, you know, pl places, paper-based or in, with people, and start to leverage that information to transfer that information and make that information available to a larger audience. Um, I really think that's kind of how the big data and IoT work, is really now you're having repositories for, for that information and making that information available to, uh, to a larger set of individuals. Um, and then technology such as mobile devices, uh, and uh, storage and, and cloud-based solutions just makes the accessibility of that information uh, much more easily uh, made available. And then other things that you can do with the information is have technology that's looking at that information and looking for trends, uh, ideally to help uh, uh, capture best practices as well as uh, uh, prevent problems or make, make individuals aware of potential issues that need to be addressed uh, before they become a problem. As far as megatrends are concerned, um, clearly uh, software as a service is certainly a trend we've seen in the commercial environment. We've certainly seen that in the industrial marketplace, and now it's coming more into the industrial automation side, um, largely for information collection um, and capturing best practices, making that information available to other users through easier to use client tools uh, to where people can literally ask questions of the data, not necessarily be experts but have questions that they want answers to and be able to provide an experience with which they can answer, ask those questions and get meaningful responses. One of the other benefits of software as a service is um, it's a different IT infrastructure. Oftentimes large IT projects have a large capital expenditure. It takes a long time to get things up and running. With software as a service, um, you have a, a different financial model um, and you're able to get systems up and running in a much more rapid fashion. From an information management perspective, I think what we hear back from a lot of customers is um, they didn't anticipate some of the benefits. So you go into these projects thinking, oh, we, we believe that we need to do this because it's going to help us in these areas. Once they've accomplished those tasks, what they realize more often than not is there was a lot of benefits that they didn't anticipate. The people that have that high fidelity information on the industrial automation are the people in the control room or the people that interact with the operators, the engineers. I think the additional benefit is making that information available to a larger set of people within the organization that probably don't realize the fidelity of information that's available for them to be able to, to make operational improvements based upon their role and responsibility. The threshold is lower now. Uh, the larger organizations that have been able to benefit by putting these systems in place have seen the need and, and oftentimes put those systems in place long ago. Uh, some of the organizations just didn't have that capacity, either the resources or, or the, uh, the uh, capital expenditure capacity to do those things. And I think this makes that technology available to a, to a much wider audience. We've had the opportunity over uh, such a long period of time to work with so many customers across so many industries and literally the, the hundreds of thousands of installations that we have globally has provided a rich amount of information that we've captured in working with those customers that have not only just taken the technology, they've applied the technology. And now we can take those best practices and learnings uh, from those customers uh, and partners and be able to bring that to a wider audience.